The method used for gathering supplies for a surgical procedure depends on the system used by the health facility. The case cart method is most commonly used. Sterile supplies are prepared and gathered in a variety of ways. They can be gathered by the central supply or sterile processing department and placed on a stainless steel case cart, or they can be gathered by members of the OR and then transferred to the surgical department for the procedure. After the case cart is received in the operating room, it is the surgical technologist's responsibility to check and finish gathering the necessary items using the surgeon's preference card. Selected case carts are kept ready for emergency cases such as trauma or open heart. Each surgeon has a card specifically detailed with his or her particular needs for the surgical procedure. Specific instrument sets, equipment and supplies needed for a procedure are listed on the surgeon's preference card. This is where you will find data on instrument sets and special instruments required for the case, special equipment, suture preferences, glove and gown size, skin prep and draping routine, intraoperative drugs including dose and strength, surgeon's individual needs and techniques, dressings. The scrub and circulator arrange the operating room furniture in a logical manner to build the sterile field. Non-sterile equipment, such as the operating microscope or digital imaging card, are brought in at this time. Arrange the furniture in the operating room to accommodate the particular procedure being performed. Keep in mind, the room is arranged to prevent contamination of sterile surfaces by traffic and non-sterile equipment. Prior to the first case of the day, all surfaces are damp dusted before placement of equipment and supplies. Place clean linen on the OR table and be sure that arm boards and other table attachments are available in the room. Secure one end of the patient safety strap to the OR table. Connect suction tubing to the canisters, ensuring that the connections are tight. Pre-test the suction lines for adequate pressure. Gather diagnostic studies, such as radiographs, magnetic resonance images, or other data the surgeon needs during the case. The anesthesia care provider assembles monitoring equipment and other accessories, such as cardiac leads, airway equipment, compression devices, and warming and cooling blankets. If power equipment is to be used during surgery, the inline or tank gas sources must be tested and gauges set to the manufacturer's recommendations. Opening a case means to prepare the surgical suite for a procedure and open sterile items. All equipment and furniture is arranged and sterile supplies are brought into the room. Depending on the complexity of the surgery, the amount of equipment to be prepared and the degree of the emergency, the scrub and circulator open the case about 15 to 20 minutes before the start of the surgery. In extremely large cases, more time may be needed to allow for opening of supplies and setting up of the case. After the case is opened, the sterile items should be constantly monitored. The ideal technique is to have someone physically in the room to observe the sterile setup and verify that nothing is contaminated. Covering the setup with a sterile drape is not recommended because of the risk of contamination when the cover is removed. Leaving a room vacant and posting a sign on the door advising staff that the room is open is also not an acceptable practice. Sterile supplies are opened in sequence from large to small. The basic pack, containing towels, drapes, and gowns, is centered on the back table and opened using aseptic technique.
As the wrapper is unfolded, the inner sterile surface is exposed. This provides a sterile surface for other items to be distributed. Ideally, counted items, such as sharps, should be opened on the corner of the field together. Heavier items should be opened in the basins. Wrapped basins are opened in the ring stand. Anticipate the need for smaller tables for supplementary instrument trays, drills, and orthopedic components as needed. Small items are opened by removing the outer wrapper. The item is then gently placed onto the sterile table. Large packs are included in almost all surgical setups and are always opened first on the back table because that is the center of the scrub's work area. These include linen or non-woven gowns, towels, sponges, and other items. Pre-assembled case packs can be custom designed by the institution to include surgical supplies routinely used during specific types of surgery. Some commonly pre-assembled packs include abdominal, orthopedic, and minor surgery packs. Before opening any sterile pack, be sure to check the integrity of the outside of the package for strike through and the external indicators for verification of exposure to the sterilization process. Okay. Oh, whoop, there's a hole. Any packages with tears, holes, or watermarks are contaminated and should be removed from the room for reprocessing and replaced with new packs. To open the large pack, which is positioned on the back table, center the pack on the table and orient it so the long ends of the outside drape line up with the long end of the table. If the pack is very large and has been square wrapped, the recommended practice is to move around the package rather than reaching across. In this case, grasp the folded edge of the top fold with both hands and pull the edges toward you. Tear along the perforated tape of the outer wrap. Remove the prep tray and scrub gown. Place the prep tray on the prep table and the scrub gown on a surface for gowning and gloving after scrubbing. Move to the other side of the table and repeat this process on the opposite top fold. Allow a one inch margin between the edge of the drape and your non-sterile hand. Remember not to lean over the table while opening the pack. Keep a safe distance away. Do not readjust the table drape after it is opened. After the large pack is unwrapped, instruments, suture packs, and other sterile items are opened onto the draped surface. The following technique is used by non-sterile personnel to open an instrument tray properly. When opening large instrument trays, rigid container trays, or other heavy equipment, set the tray on a small table and then open in place. Orient the item so that the flap farthest away from the body is grasped first. The flap is opened away from the body and gently pulled down. Open each side flap. Open the flap closest to the body last, pulling it towards you. This prevents the non-sterile arm from reaching across the sterile surface inside the pack. As sterile items are opened, use more tables if necessary. Do not stack heavy sterile instruments precariously high or in such a way that they might be dropped. Avoid holding a heavy instrument tray in one hand and removing the wrapper with the other. This puts excessive strain on the wrist and you may drop the tray. Put the tray on a non-sterile table before opening the wrapper. Basin sets are placed on a ring stand and open in the same manner as large instrument trays. Open the flap farthest away from you first, then the side flaps. Do not reach over the basin.
it is better technique to move around the sterile package and pull flaps toward you. Omar, this is contaminated with moisture. Okay, sure is. All right, give it to me and get you another one. Thanks. If water is found in any basin upon opening the sterile wrapper, the basin is considered contaminated. This is caused by a problem in steam sterilization and must be communicated to the central processing department. The load in which the basin was sterilized will be located and items removed from service. Some tips to remember when opening a case. Always maintain a safe distance from the sterile surface to avoid contaminating them, but stand close enough to accurately distribute the item you are opening to the sterile field. When opening packages wrapped in non-woven or paper wrappers sealed with tape, break the tape rather than tearing it. This prevents the outer wrapper from ripping and causing contamination. Packages wrapped in sealed pouches may contain an inner wrapper. Open the outer pouch and distribute the item with its inner wrapper intact. Never unwrap a heavy item while holding it in midair. Instead, place the item on a small table and remove the wrapper using aseptic technique. When opening instruments in closed sterilization trays, break the seal and lift the top straight up and away from the tray. Remember that the edges of the tray are not sterile. Do not open any sterile goods into this tray. If the smaller item is contaminated during opening, the whole tray is considered contaminated. While opening sterile supplies, place clean wrappers in clean trash receptacles. Do not use kick buckets or biohazard bags for clean waste. Extra sutures, special equipment, and implants should be held unopened until the surgeon asks for them. This prevents waste. Sharps are opened during the setup. The circulator opens the outer packages and the scrub technologist removes them and places them in a sharps holder. Open the scrub person's gown and gloves onto a small table or mayo stand, not on the back table.